love you too. Happy coming to you, Captain Austin Fish Room, Jeff Chrome Grow By, bringing y'all a video. Now, it's come to my attention. Sorry, I'm doing water changes and you know trying to trying to take care of the fishies. Taki, stop it. Oh, it's come to my attention that a lot of y'all. That's why that spray bar isn't working. Excuse me, just one second. I'll talk while I'm over here fixing this. Seems though, as though one of my flower horns has, there we go, taken advantage of one of my filters. Anyways, <clears throat> it's come to my attention that, come on Taki, God, this dog I swear. Anybody wanna see Taki? There you go, there's Taki. If y'all want to see some feeding videos, uh, particularly a lot of new people on my channel want to see me feed my fish and stuff, uh, today wouldn't be a good day for me to do that because generally, uh, because whenever they get a water change, uh, they don't really like to eat that much. Uh, go figure. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I think I'll do a feeding video. Uh, maybe, I mean, it's going to be in this video, of course, but I just wanted to let everybody know what to expect throughout the video, but, um, yeah, so, I think that's kind of cool, everybody telling me what they want to see, uh, I do have a new fish in the fish room, really excited about this fish, um, excited and kind of, it, it got me thinking at the same time, it's like, it's a catfish. And those of you that follow me on Facebook, uh, particularly the groups that I'm in, uh, especially West Coast Cichlid Culture, you already know this, but it got me thinking about catfish in general, specifically the ones that get, you know, semi-big to very large. Uh, semi-big is anywhere from a foot to two, two and a half feet, something like that. And extremely large would be, you know, uh, three plus feet. Uh, you know, four feet. Um, examples of those are like your uh, red tail catfish. Um, now, the fish that, make sure I phrase this correctly because I don't want any keyboard jockeys getting on there acting like I don't know what I'm talking about here. It seems like all the fish that can be kept in aquaria moderately sized aquaria, 150 gallon plus aquaria are really expensive. But all the catfish that can't be kept in aquaria unless you have extremely large aquaria, I'm talking about thousands of gallons here, are dirt cheap. <clears throat> I was talking with my friend about it this morning and uh, he comes into the shop all the time um, you know, it just uh, his name's Kyle. Anyways, uh, shout out to you, Kyle. Yeah. So I just I don't understand that. Like, you can get a red tail catfish or a, or a, one of those tiger shovel noses. You know, anywhere from 15 to 25 bucks. Sometimes 30 bucks, depending on the size, and more expensive according to size. You know, you can get them fairly cheap, but the ones that you can't actually keep in Aquaria are super expensive, like $100 plus fish, and it just blows my mind, like, I don't know, it's kind of backwards. You think the ones that get extremely big, that are commonly available, would be more expensive than that to deter people from buying them? and mistreating them, keeping them in a 55 to 120 gallon tank. I mean, these fish literally need ponds. Uh, the catfish that get over uh, three feet, you know, they, they need ponds, you know. I mean, unless you have a 2,500 gallon tank and, you know, you have the means to feed something that large, I mean, Jesus, that's a big fish, guys. And I'm not gonna lie, I've kept them before, uh, but once they get to two feet, I take them up to my shop, well, before I worked there, I took them up to the shop back then, my, well, you get what I'm trying to say. 
took them up to the shop and they and they lived in the pond okay but a lot of people think that I mean still today there's a common misconception that fish only grow to the size of the tank that they're kept in but the problem with that is the problem with that is is fish have what's called indiscriminate growth and what that means is fish will continually grow throughout their entire lifespan now once they reach uh, you know uh, a predetermined max size they slow down dramatically of course Macy stop they slow down dramatically of course but you know say like <clears throat> for example you have X catfish it's predetermined wild adult size is let's say four feet for ease of math four feet you keep them in an aquarium of course they're going to be smaller uh, you know well depending on how how well you maintain that system and stuff and how good of food you feed them and stuff like that let's say that in aquaria they get to two feet or three feet two to three feet you can expect inside of an aquarium but there's a lot of people out there that think that if they keep them in a 55 gallon they'll stay 10 to 12 inches you know and that's just simply not the case you know I mean if you keep them in a small aquaria and you stunt their growth they're still growing and what's gonna happen is their spine is gonna start pinking up you know and you might not see it at first but once a fish starts growing more you're gonna it's gonna be really obvious going to start kinking up their internal organs are going to start pressing against their skeletal stru structure and they're not going to live very long after that guys so I hope this reaches a lot of people you know I hope I hope that you know this reaches enough people out there that think that keeping fish inside small aquaria will limit how big they grow because if you keep them in small aquaria, not only are you going to distort that fish and, you know, inhumanely keep that fish, it's not going to live the 20, 30, sometimes 40 years that those fish can live. You got to understand that. Fish don't just live a couple years. I mean, some do. But the type of fish I keep, like uh, Big Rig, for example, you're talking about a 15, 20 year fish there. Sometimes even more with good care, you know. Uh, these big catfish 15 20 30 years guys now you keep them inside small aquaria you'd be lucky to get five years out of them that is wow that's a quarter of their lifespan you know you got 50 let's say let's just say 20 years you keep it for five years that is a small small window of time that you're keeping that fish when it could instead of keeping it this long you can keep it this long guys that's ridiculous so indiscriminate growth is what is what fish have they they grow constantly through their entire lives entire lives even when they reach their max max size they're still growing they are still growing okay it's kind of like after humans die their hair your hair and fingernails keep growing just like that uh, I mean, after the fish dies, of course it doesn't grow. I'm not saying that, but indiscriminate growth. I just wanted to say that before we go around and check out a few fish. Uh, mainly, going to check out the catfish here. I may do a feeding video. I don't know. I didn't know the introduction was going to go that long. Uh, but uh, if I don't do a feeding video today, uh, expect it in a couple days. Okay? Like Monday. Alright, so... Get excited, because I'm excited. I'm really stoked to have this fish, so I hope y'all are excited to see it. Here we go. Now, y'all make sure y'all stay to the end of the video to see the cool stuff. I got lots of cool little video clips. Well, not lots, but I got like three video clips that you're absolutely going to love. There's an Akara catfish in there uh, that... Sorry, I just had a brain fart. And a car of catfish in there that <clears throat> uh, one of the one of the people that come up to the shop all the time, regular customer, buddy of mine, 
uh, he purchased and it's gorgeous it's gorgeous and then there's a couple other fish at the end too you're gonna have to watch it it's a it's a good feeding video uh, with the other with the other fish the other the last two clips are of saltwater fish and uh, these guys are awesome so first we got to check out Georgie this is my male flower horn he is just beautiful I love this fish he's starting to get a little attitude too you see my hand here He's definitely not scared. He wants to bite me, I know. <laughs> Old Georgie. This guy is gonna be really beautiful when he gets bigger. But anyways, the star of today's video is over here on this side of the divider. Now, this is uh, one of those catfish that I was talking about in the beginning of the video. Check that guy out. Now, what type of catfish is this? This is a true Tigrinus. I will have the scientific name down inside the description. And I'm really excited to have this. Really, really excited. Now, this is one of the catfish, you know, depending on, you know, who you are or whatever, that you can keep in a couple hundred gallons, all right? This one doesn't grow as big as the red tails and the tiger shovel noses and stuff like that. Uh, this one, max, you're talking about two, two and a half, you know, in an extreme case, three feet. Uh, you can get away with a couple hundred gallons with this fish. You know, if you take good care of it, guys, I'm not saying you can have a 300 gallon tank, throw this in there and expect it to live, you know, 10 to 20 years. Uh, with good care, good water change schedule, good food, not feeding it live food. Uh, of course, you know, unless you raise your own live food, uh, live food just isn't a good idea. Uh, there is zero nutritional value there unless you gut load the fish. And when you gut load it, you have to feed that, that feeder fish within a half an hour of gut loading. Uh, so a lot of, you know, a lot of people just don't get that, just don't care to get it, so whatever. Uh, but yeah, this is a true Tigrinus, or uh, Tigrinus shovel nose, uh, really beautiful fish, really expensive fish, uh, really enjoying, I brought this home, this guy home last night, uh, he's currently eating krill, uh, we'll be getting him on a pellet, don't you worry, uh, but for now krill is doing just fine, soak it in a little garlic sometimes. This guy is just beautiful. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Now some people think that, you know, that liar tail back there, that's not an actual liar tail. Uh, I call it a streamer tail. Uh, they don't get, they don't get the streamers on the top and the bottom. There's a streamer on the top and then the bottom gets a little bit longer. Uh, on the, on the true Tigrinus. And then on, uh, the the adipose fin there on a non or a false tigrinus the the fin rays are supposed to be rigid so but yeah really beautiful catfish uh, just done some you know some basic research on them uh, I've never kept one before uh, so I'm really excited to have this guy in my fish room let me know what y'all think about it. What do y'all think about people, you know, buying these really big fish and keeping them in just a couple hundred gallons? You know, uh, the, the really big fish, guys. I'm not talking about these guys or other catfish that get a foot to two feet. I'm talking about the monster catfish, you know. Uh, red tails, uh, the red tail tiger hybrids, the tiger shovel noses. Uh, uh, what's that other one? Not the Ompok but the, uh, oh, the Goonch. Uh, now I know I'll be, I'll have a Goonch soon enough, but you know, that's a, <laughs> you know, it's different when you keep these big fish and you realize when it gets too big for you, you have somewhere to take it or you have the means to put it in a larger system, okay? That's, that's different. Uh, you know, if you can provide for it during that first part of its life, just so you can see it grow up a little bit and feed it and stuff like that, 
uh, and then you have you know a suitable home to take it to then that that's a little different but if the fish is desperately in need of rescue from you then you're doing something wrong all right uh, but what do y'all think about that uh, there's one other catfish uh, gets really really big um, what is it called has a bunch of teeth and it's not the goonch but anyways uh, what do y'all think about that you know am I out of line about thinking like that or you know am I with the vast majority that you know you need to be able to take care of the animals that you take and buy to, to put in your care you know it just got me thinking like why are the catfish that are you know small enough to keep an aquarium so expensive but the catfish that more often than not need rescuing from a from an owner so cheap I don't know maybe they're just more commonly available so they're more cheap uh, actually I know that's the reason they're just more commonly available uh, you know but you know it's just kind of weird to me I don't know but yeah really cool catfish true tigrinus what y'all think about that beautiful we'll get you a feeding video out there of this guy really soon all right so here we have mr. big rig he's getting him a water change now it's really cold so I don't change as much water when it's really cold uh, I do about half when it's really cold but I do it more often uh, that way you know you don't kill your fish with the extreme arctic temperatures of Texas where you can see all four seasons in one week you know one day it's summer here one day it's spring and rainy and tornadoes next day there's ice on the ground it's just it's wild here guys wild down in Texas yeehaw and you don't see horses everywhere and cows and stuff I mean in my area yeah but generally you don't see